my secret math tutor here, back with another problem on division using polynomials. Now, if you've seen a lot of my other videos, then you'll know that this process looks a lot like dividing with just normal numbers. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at an example that involves lots of fractions. Now, again, this may look complicated, but if you just follow the process uh, to the letter, it works out just fine. So let's go ahead and jump into the problem. So what I want to do is take 1 3rd x cubed minus 2 ninths x squared plus 2 27ths x minus 1 over 81 and divide that all by x minus a third. All right, the very first step in polynomial long division is to take your first polynomial, put it underneath your division bar, and whatever it's being divided by, put it outside of your division bar. All right, so that would give you something like this. Now we want to start the division process by looking at the first two terms in each of the polynomials. So we think to ourselves, what would I have to multiply x by in order to get a 1 3rd x cubed? Well, don't let those fractions mess you up. Just go ahead and start off with the x's. So what would you have to multiply x by in order to get an x cubed? Well, x squared would be part of it. Okay, now let's go ahead and think of numbers. So this is like a 1x. 1 multiplied by what would give you a 1 3rd? Well, 1 3rd is the only thing that works. All right, so it looks like 1 3rd x squared uh, is what I need to put in my quotient. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, multiply through and see what we get down here. So 1 3rd x squared multiplied by x will be a 1 3rd x cubed. All right, now we have to multiply some fractions. 1 3rd multiplied by a negative 1 3rd is a negative 1 9th. And of course, here's my x squared. Now, if your fractions are a little bit more complicated, you may have to go off and do some scratch work, uh, but that's okay. You just want to make sure that you find those new fractions. And of course, subtract them carefully in the next step. So these first two should always cancel each other out, and it looks like uh, we're doing just fine. So 1 3rd x cubed minus 1 3rd x cubed. Then I have a negative 2 ninths minus a minus 1 ninth. So this is like we're adding a 1 ninth. So negative 2 ninths plus a 1 ninth. And I just have a negative 1 ninth left. Since they're both x squared, x squared. All right, I guess that wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and bring down our next term. Continue this process again. So again, focus on the x's. What would, you have, what would you have to multiply x by in order to get an x squared? Well, I think we'll have to multiply by x. x times x, x squared, perfect. And to get that 1 9th, negative 1 9th, I'll have to multiply by a negative 1 9th. So negative 1 9th times 1, perfect. Looks good. All right, let's multiply through. Negative 1 9th, x squared. A negative times a negative would be a positive 1, 27. So they have a 9 times a 3, 27. Awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and subtract this way now. So these terms are canceling each other out because I have a negative 1 9th minus a minus 1 9th. That's good. Here I have 2 27ths x minus a 1 27th x. So they have the same denominator, 2 minus 1, will just be a 1 27th x. Perfect. All right, let's bring down our last term, finish this problem. All right, looks like uh, I need to multiply x by something in order to get a 1 27th x. So I think just a 1 27th will do it. Okay, so now we'll multiply through. 1 27th multiplied by x, 1 27th x, uh, 1 27th multiplied by a negative 1 3rd, so 27 times 3 is a 1 over 81, positive times a negative is a negative, looks awesome, subtract them away. Alright, looks like these two are exactly the same, and since I'm subtracting the second one, we have 0 as our remainder. So it looks like this polynomial 
divided our other polynomial evenly. And it uh, looks like our answer is 1 3rd x squared uh, minus a 1 9th x plus a 1 27th. So even if you have fractions in there, just be careful to follow the process correctly and you'll be just fine. If you have to do some scratch work to go ahead and subtract these uh, fractions, or maybe even do your multiplication, it's perfectly okay. Just make sure that it doesn't gum up your work uh, so that it stays nice and clean until the very end. Alright, if you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.